Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday and I thought I would film a week in my life. I am having an interesting week um, and I thought I'd take you along. Um, it is currently just getting bright outside. I'm not a morning person and you may be thinking, if you're not a morning person, why are you up so early? Well, uh, I've been watching the Olympics and I used to be a competitive figure skater and coach for those of you who are new here and I really miss it. So got up early and I'm going to the rink before it's time to do work and stuff and meetings. So, and I'm talking quietly because family's still asleep. So I'm gonna take you along with me. I'm so out of breath. Uh, skating with a mask on is really, really hard. Um, but the last skater left, so I have nice to myself, which is so nice. Oh, fun fact, this is also the exact ice I learned to skate on 20 years ago. Like, almost literally 20 years ago. Kind of weird to think about. <laughs> to get started working. I did my hair. Um, I'm gonna get ready. Um, I did my hair for a few meetings. Um, I'm just gonna do some emails. Yeah, that's the plan. Hello, quick check-in over snack. It's just about lunch time. Um, but I'm, I kind of eat late, so I'll eat later. Trader Joe's garlic dip. It's my favorite thing on the planet. Um, anyway, it's lunchtime. I had some meetings. I did some computer work. Um, some Squarespace stuff. A million emails. Now, having a snack. And then my goal is to edit a video today. I have research to do. And I have to finish a presentation. So those are the big items with like some smaller things here and there. So we'll see how that goes.
is now Wednesday afternoon. I've been working all morning. I filmed some videos and now I, I announced I'm starting a book club. So surprise, I'm starting a book club. I'll put info in the description. Um, basically, it's going to be run over Slack. There will be a bi-weekly book um, that will be a mix of fiction and non-fiction around museums, culture, and the arts. And yeah, I'm just going to, because I've had interest from all time zones around the world, um, I'm going to run it over Slack. And if you're interested, you can just shoot me an email. I'll have that information down below. Um, yeah, so I'm prepping some tours and I am giving a tour tomorrow and nothing seems interesting enough to talk about. Um, yeah, that's it for now. I'll check in later. Good morning. It is Thursday morning and I just got to the Getty Villa. I was supposed to give a tour this morning. Just got a text message five minutes before they were supposed to be here. It's canceled. These things happen. So, since I drove all the way down here, I'm gonna take some time to explore the collection and I thought I'd bring you by to see it. Um, you can see a little bit in the background. So this is the J. Paul Getty Villa in Malibu, and it is built off of the floor plans of the Villa di Papyri and the Herculaneum in outside of Rome. And this is what was buried um, alongside Pompeii by Mount Vesuvius. And archaeologists found the floor plans, and J. Paul Getty collected antiquities and he wanted to build a replica and it is as much historically accurate as possible if not to the Villa de Papyri to other Roman villas. Um, it, his museum started as his ranch house um, further up on the hill and then he built this museum um, Anyway, and Villa di Papyri, why it's called that, was it famously housed all these um, papyri um, scrolls, which were very important with all these famous works of literature. So, I'll take you along and maybe share some facts along the way. It's better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way. future editing Chloe um, I realized while editing that this video is gonna be very very long so I'm cutting it into two because my weekend was very busy and I was gonna lump it together and then things got really chaotic um, all I can tell you is I went on a really good interview in person we'll see how it goes I'm waiting to hear back as I left, they said, and I quote, that went very well. We'll see. Honestly, at this point, everything is just up in there. Um, but really my whole week was me sitting and doing research for upcoming tours. So that was Getty Tours. I put the villa in the center and then 
I was giving a family t lecture on Impressionism and then developing research for some upcoming programs that I'm going to give. Um, one most likely on Faith Ringgold, the artist, and um, one I'm trying to pitch on Hayao Miyazaki, which is that. Info on those, TBD. But, um, honestly, besides going places and spending a lot of time in the car, my, like, work stuff was really blah, and if I, I feel like I would just keep saying, do a lot of stuff on the computer, because honestly, isn't that what everybody does for work anyway, is just send emails? Really. Anyway. I get very in my head about what to post and not to post because and what to share and what to, not to share because I'm not sure what I can share, you know? I'm a little in my head about it. So, I'm going to sign off here. Thank you for watching. More interesting content to come, I promise, um, that I can share about. It's coming soon. I don't mean to be cryptic because I know what people hate when they do that. But I promise more interesting content is coming. Okay. If you enjoyed this video and like my ramblings and getting a little inside look of what it's like to be an art historian. Right now I'm a freelancer. Um, please like this video, follow along for more, subscribe if you haven't. And for those who keep watching, thank you. Good night.